Uh, hi there. Uh, this is gonna be a little unconventional, but uh... Uh, I'm just gonna do it because I why not? Uh, this is gonna be a uh, comment kind of commentary tutorial on how to do the planes of the Spectre of Torment expansion, uh, speedrun wise, uh, at least as fast as I can possibly do it. Uh, before I start, I just want to say uh, I'm kind of sick, so bear with me, please. This is kind of like first time doing this, so like I'm sorry in advance. Apologies in advance, sorry. Um, and I'm gonna be doing. This this way. I'm gonna be doing it as a demonstration the first time without any commentary, just to you know, give like a gist of what's gonna be like. And then I'm gonna play it again, but this time I'll commentate on some live aspects of it to uh, kind of give you a gist of what things, how things go. So without further ado, let's start. Got that? Sorry about that. Okay, let's try again. Okay, so uh, that's the demonstration. All right, so now we're gonna replay the stage. Uh, if you notice, I kind of, uh, kind of buffered on some parts. Uh, it's not a big deal. I can just uh, go over it and explain it. So uh, don't do that, please. If you're gonna shoot on this. <coughs> okay, so uh, before I start this, let me just say uh, one quick thing that I like to do before when starting the screen. Okay, so with this whole entire screen that I'm going to go through. 
I typically like to use like a uh, kind of subtle audio cue. Uh, I'll kind of signal you as to when the cue starts. Uh, kind of just say like uh, right there when the cue hits. Uh, what I basically try to do is uh, pass through this whole first screen. I try my best to um, get through the second, get through the whole screen before the queue starts, because that gives me like a that lets me know that I'm on the track. That I have a pretty good like head start, stuff like that. If you do kind of get to second second screen after the queue starts, it's not a big deal. It's fine. You can just still keep going. That just kind of helps me sure me to go faster as as I can. But so you still have to be cautious through this because you can mess up on some parts. But if you do mess up, that's completely fine. It's not really that punishing. You will lose some time, but it it could be worse. All right, so here we go. I'm just gonna demonstrate the cue I'm talking about. There. Okay. Right, right. Okay. So uh, hold on. Let me just turn here. Okay, so uh, if you heard that, what I said there, uh, that's usually the cue I'm talking about. Uh, you would generally want to. I mean, this is just my thing. You don't have to do it, but generally you'd want to uh, get there before the queue starts. Uh, I kind of got there a little bit like. I kind of get trans transition to the second screen after it started, but like you know, it's not a big deal. Sometimes I can get it. Sometimes I can't. But you know, it, it could be worse. So um, just try your best. To move as fast as fast as you can. I mean, that's kind of cute I use, but like if you want to, you can try it out. I'm just saying, but you don't you don't have to if you want to. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to demonstrate things I'm trying to talk about. Okay, so I do a short hop there, jump up here. Okay, and so here, this is what I like to do. I like to just drop down, hit that dirt block, and then once the beetle comes near me, I'm gonna attack the beetle, and when it reaches mass maximum height, I'm gonna do a short jump and then dash slash upwards. And if I get this right. I should be able to um, get over the ledge without having to climb it. It just saves a lot of time, so let me see if I can get this. Fuck. Okay, uh, I messed up there. Uh, no big deal. Um, oh, well, I don't really feel like we trying that. Okay, so uh, get up here. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna try to do better. Okay, so I'm gonna attack those four dirt blocks. If you, can, if you attack at the right time, then you'll just eradicate all of them. So you want to aim to do it around the middle or so of those dirt blocks. So we're just gonna drop down, do that. I kind of messed up with that dirt block, but it's not a big deal. Attack this like that. Jump up here like that, and then do two short hops. Then you want to do that death. So you want to do that uh, slash uh, at that beetle like that. Uh, it, it just raises some forward momentum and can. Uh <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me about that. Uh, races like that forward momentum and can help uh, you significantly with speed to get through areas faster. Uh, this, this isn't the first time we're going to be doing that. We're also going to be doing that a couple of times. So let me just get through this stage here. Excuse here. Do a dash this up there. Climb up. This checkpoint. I just like to do that. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. You see that little um dash reticle here? That's kind of what I'm trying to aim for. Jumping up that dirt block and then dashing to that beetle and uh, to kind of gain that momentum and kind of transition as fast as I can. So I'm going to do that, like that. Yeah, that wasn't that perfect, but it's alright. And then you want to get this red skull. Okay, so right now I'm going to be doing something called like, damage boosting, which means I'm going to be damaging myself, but it will boost me into the direction I need to. And in this one, if you don't damage boost, you will lose significant time. What signif Essentially what you're supposed to do is you have to ha use iframes to get through this dragon and then climb that ladder. But if you don't damage boost, you'll essentially just waste yourself, like, hit two, get hit two times, and you won't be able to get it right. So, if you do fuck up on this part, uh, not getting damage boosting, you can just wait, wait it out. I mean, I typically, like, like uh, wait it out to get the second one, and then just climb that ladder. But, uh, what I have to do is that I have to jump up over his head, turn around, and then get hit, and then do short jumps and then climb that ladder. So, like that. Just like, just like that. Just do that. Don't even jump up like that. Yeah, about that uh, dash slash there. You could jump up and get there, but like if you time it right, you could just regularly walk off and then just get the dash right to go on that lantern. And then you want to hit that enemy. It should rush you down to get those dirt blocks. Jump up to the right. I kind of just jump up to eradicate those bottom ones and then just do a slash on that one, just like I did there. 
and you should be able to just climb down safely. Okay, so now I'm gonna come on this one. You wanna go as right as best you can, attack that wall, and I'm gonna show you what we mean. Like that. Yeah. Okay, so this one part is kind of tricky. Uh, it can take some practice to get used to, but uh, what, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna attack, attack this first block on the on the most like the most bottom block, and then I'm gonna jump up, attack those two blocks in the middle, and then wall jump like that. Uh, typically, it's faster to not like do the climbing animation and just jump off. Uh, but um, <coughs> excuse me. But I typically don't like to mess up on that, so I kind of play it safe a little bit. Sorry about that. And so here, I'm going to attack this wall, but there are going to be two slimes. I'm generally going to try to uh, jump over them and do a damage boost to kind of put myself in that direction. If you do miss it, I typically just kind of like to wait it out a little bit until they can get me to do that damage boost. It's not a big deal, so I'm going to try that. Alright, got it. Got it right there. Got that damage boost. Okay, so now we're going to... Go with this bubble. Sorry about that. I just tap like that. Okay, so right here is gonna be a little bit tricky. You wanna dash up with that dragon. And then once you get on top of that dirt block, on the very top of the dirt uh, tower, whatever that thing is, uh, there's gonna be two slimes. Attack the first slime. What I like to do is I like to attack the first slime, then jump up and do a downward slash, which will then caress you to the uh, second slime on the bottom. And then you wanna do another downward slash and then I kind of just do a little like quick jump slash like a jump and then slash jump and slash like that so uh ah eh, eh. oh, fuck I messed up uh that was kind of faster I kind of messed up there but like uh just try to say try to do what I demonstrated I'm sorry if I'm not getting these exactly right do that and I typically have to do this attack the middle do that and then get up like that okay so this strat uh I'm gonna try not to mess up. Okay, so here you go. Uh, I'm gonna plan down and reset it. So basically, what you want, what what used to be, is that you would go to the right, and then you would attack that track, go to the right, and then turn around, attack that track, and get the red skull, and turn around, and attack it again, go to the ladder. But I believe um the faster strat. I don't know who exactly found it, but I'm gonna say Moo Moo Akai. I, I don't know. That's kind of what I what I saw from one of the videos. But um, I'm gonna say is. It's faster to jump up as high as you can, and at the highest maximum height the dragon is, you can get that red skull while still climbing up the ladder. So I'm gonna try that. This is kind of my first time doing it. Fuck. Okay, let me let me try that again. <coughs> I guess my first time doing this. Excuse me. Damn it. Okay, hold on. I can get this. There we go, right there. Uh, it's kind of tricky to do it. I would probably use some practice. Okay, but next screen. Okay, so jump off like that. Do two upper slashes, downward slash on a skull. Jump up and immediately just do a slash. It should just lead you up there. Okay, so this one um, is kind of tricky, but it's not too hard to mess up. So you want to wait for the bubbles to be in a position where you can get the red, do an upward slash to get that red skull. I typically like to do it around the middle of the screen or so. And then I just dash up. And then what I'm going to do then is I'm going to get near the uh, attack, do downward slash near the dragon just to boost myself to the dragon. Turn around and damage boost myself. And then when I get to a certain point, I'm going to uh, uh, jump up, turn around, do a downward slash, which will bounce me off into the next screen. And I'm just going to show you what's going to happen there. So. Let's do it. Okay, so see what happened there was, uh, since I bounced off that dragon like that, it automatically gave you the red skull. And what you then do is then just kind of proceed with the lanterns, upper slash, then downward slash on the dragon, then upper slash on that lantern, and then climb up. Uh, so the next part, uh, it's kind of, I'm going to introduce a strat. I believe that Mumu, Mumu Akai, sorry if I'm saying the wrong, sorry if I'm saying the name wrong, but Mumu Akai, I believe he's the current world rec, uh, holder of the world record for Spectre of Tournament 80%. So pretty much what we found out is uh, if you're between two walls, if you if you're climbing a ladder and you're, and you're in a wall between walls which you can climb on, if you let go and jump at certain times, you can just get up the ladder as quickly as you can. That just saves a lot of time. So I'm gonna try to demonstrate that. Kind of like that. Okay, so I'm gonna try my best to demonstrate things. I can't really explain this well, so I'm gonna try to show it. 
Okay, so you have to try to attack those blocks like that. The last two blocks I messed up on, but try to get in the middle as best you can. Then you want to damage boost yourself to the left by turning around on these green slimes. Just save yourself some time. And then you want to walk here. Fuck, I messed up. I don't know why I jumped. Then jump like that. I don't know why I did that, but uh, that happened. So just do a downward slash. And then uh, if you're lucky, you should be able to get like the dash downward slash on these two beetles and take them out. Like, yeah, like that. That just saves a lot of time and can accelerate you at like a pretty high speed. Okay, so now we're gonna come up on the final part of the stage, Black Knight, and uh, he's not too tricky. Uh, hold on, let me just wait for this to happen. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna be demonstrating here is what I like to call the Black Knight loop. So pretty much what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna be looping Black Knight in a certain animation, which I'll just attack him repeatedly. Which just saves a huge amount of time. Because casually, you'd probably just attack him and he just moves it all around the place. And his rhino tortoise just uh, moves it to... He uses the rhino tortoise a lot and it's kind of a bit annoying. But uh, they, actually, they actually found... There's actually a kind of strat, speedrun-wise, where if you can loop... Where you would uh, push Black Knight to the far edge on the right and then loop him with like a down, continuous downward slash. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing that. So I'm going to demonstrate here. Do that. As you, see, as you can see here, I'm kind of dashing him. You want to also take a look at his health because uh, what to do is... Oh wait, let me just see here. Basically, okay. Right there. So on the last hit point, what I generally like to do is that after I do all that downward slashing, on the last one, I typically like to lean a bit towards the right and then attack him because there's always that small possibility that you can kind of... He'll just, right, he'll just move automatically and you could completely miss it and that would just waste a lot of time. So I generally recommend that you do that. You don't have to do that, but uh, this is like a really small possibility that he's going to do that. But uh, let's move to the right on the last hit point. You want to, this, this loop generally is pretty easy to accomplish, but it is pretty also easy to mess up. So if you mess it up the first time, don't be too sad. Just, uh, just continue with the fight as you normally would. It's going to be, it's going to lose some time, but it could be worse. I, I, I would generally try to practice with that, but it's pretty easy to get it. And so there you go, that's uh, Spectre of Torment, Planes, speedrun wise. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna be signing out soon. Okay, bye.